Welcome to week 11 of this season's Monday Night Hockey. I'm Simon Mason and on tonight's show we've got extended highlights of league leaders Surbiton at home to the University of Birmingham, highlights of second placed Hampstead and Westminster against Loughborough students and Clifton Robinsons as they welcomed East Grinstead. In the men's Premier Division we've got all the action from a thrilling match as Reading entertained Old Georgians, highlights from Holcombe at home to Surbiton, University of Exeter as they welcomed East Grinstead, all the goals from Wimbledon against Hampstead and Westminster and Beeston versus Brooklyn's Manchester University. First up, we go to Surbiton with the University of Birmingham, the visitors. Surbiton have won all 10 matches of the season so far and named a number of Birmingham alumni in their ranks. The visitors went into this on the back of five straight defeats. The commentator for this is Charlie Broom. Catlin, the free hit. Finds Martin, back again to Catlin. Chance here for Catlin on the reverse stick. Oh, it's going wide and it's been turned in by Thomas. Well, two minutes in and Surbiton have the perfect start. It's a disaster for the University of Birmingham and Thomas because this shot from Catlin is going wide and Thomas's touch there puts it into her own net. There is Atkinson. Atkinson free hit. Oh, it's been cut out by Hunt and a chance here. Hunt with the shot. Oh, the equaliser. Five minutes in and the University of Birmingham are level once again. Surbiton one, Birmingham one. Atkinson with the... Restart, Hunt cutting it out into the circle, unopposed, and she beats Hash at her right hand post. Here is Twig. Twig to the circle, has Preston for company. Preston ends up on the floor, and Twig now has a free run. Shot comes into the circle, it's there for Martin, saved by Marks, and they'll run it out here. The University of Birmingham, and they win the free hit. But another good chance for Surbiton. Free hit finds Birchall. Birchall under pressure from Martin to Hunt. Oh, it's a dreadful ball by Hunt, and here's a chance for Long, and the save is made by Marks. Well, Hunt didn't get that pass right at all, and Long one on one with the keeper. Marks equal to the shot. Aerial ball thrown by Locke. Here is Emo oh, trying for the. Reversed it across. Oh, she's kept it in though, so the chance is still there for the University of Birmingham. And here's a chance, and Emo puts it right across the face of goal. Emo, who tried to get that reverse stick cross in, she managed to keep it in play. You can see Atkinson's walking away for service, and then she realises it's back in place, so she tries to make the tackle. It falls to Locke, Locke back to Emo, Emo across the face of goal. Here is Preston. Cuts inside, goes across the field of play and it's cut out by Stenner and a chance here. Stenner driving down this right-hand channel. The University of Birmingham defence is turned. Stenner across the face of goal and Gekki another the far post couldn't quite get the touch. For the second time that uh, the University of Birmingham tried to play across their 23 and the second time it's been cut out and Gekki couldn't get the touch on the far post. Quickly taken by Martin. Martin into the circle. Martin on the reverse stick. And not too far away from Hannah Martin. Gets the shot away. And Marks with the save. Ball played forward. And here is Stenner. Stenner keeps it alive. Stenner into the 23. Gets her head up. Here is Sanders. Erica Sanders on the turn. And Marks, well, she makes the save. Wasn't the most confident of saves, but she's kept the ball out. Stenner finding Sanders. Sanders with the turn off the back foot. And Marks makes the save. Chance here for Burnley. Burnley down that right flank. Just being ushered away. Burnley to Catlin. Back again to Burnley. Oh, lovely turn from Burnley into the circle. And a chance here, perhaps long with the shots. Didn't really get a hold of it. Puts it wide of the mark. But Burnley showing her skill here in close quarters. Lovely little turn to get herself into the circle. Plays the ball forward. Long one touch. Goes for the hit and just edges it wide. Ball out. And a chance here perhaps for Preston. Preston into the circle come the University of Birmingham. Oh, across the... Face of goal, hands go up, it's play on. Emo on the reverse oh, stick! Oh. And Hesh has to make a, a solid right-handed save. Yeah. Got a chance there for the visitors to take the lead. You can see here, 
couple of white shirts stick their hands in the air. University of Birmingham play on, as does Hesh, to maintain parity. Ball. Nowhere Surbiton don't want it to be. They've got to get this ball forward if they want the winner. Ball down the line. There is the final whistle. And it's first points on the road for the University of Birmingham. It's the first points dropped by Surbiton. Final score here. It's Surbiton 1, University of Birmingham 1. Now to Hampstead and Westminster for the visit of Loughborough students. The return fixture ended up with a 1-0 for the London side. But since then, the student side have won three of their four matches to make a move on the top four. Two of the form teams in the league met in Bristol as Clifton Robinsons, having won four of their last five matches, hosted East Grinstead, who went into this unbeaten in eight games. Sideline ball for East Grinstead. They'll go down the line. Bray leaves it, picked up by Blunt. Blunt to Bray and some desperate tackles coming in, but Bray is clear and here's a golden opportunity here for the lead. Cousins and uh, Ray are getting in each other's way and Cousins can't hit the target, but a great opportunity for East Grinstead. Blackwood takes the free hit herself, goes across the circle. Chapel tracks her. Chapel loses a stick. Blackwood into the circle. Here's a chance for Rare. Rare with a lovely turn. Rare finds the shot but can't hit the target. Ogilvy looks to spread it to that left hand side. Oh, it's been picked up by Bray and a chance here. They're on the counter attack here. Reese Grinstead, two in front of Bray. Hansford and Rare. Here is Hansford. Hansford drops it to Rare. Rare surely must score. Oh, she can't even hit the target. What a chance that is. Thomas to the right, Richards to the left, and the flick is well saved by Yaya. And free hit, oh, it's gone the way of East Grinstead. And that Cousins can take it, and Cousins take it quickly, and Clifton could be caught napping here. Cousins forwards to Bray. Bray now down this left-hand side. Sophie Bray comes back inside. She has a look inside to find where the uh, support is. And Davisa comes and makes the save with her glove. And it's cleared by Clifton Robinson. Free hit. Palmer will put it into the circle. And Holder gets the touch. And it's in. Lucy Holder gives East Grinstead the lead. 27 minutes in. Clifton Robinson's nil. East Grinstead won. Oh, it's been cut out on that far side. Ball played forward. Here is Mannering. Mannering off, oh, clears it straight to Sophie Bray. Bray back into the danger zone. Chance here for East Grinstead. Oh, into the roof of the net. What a finish that is by Hansford. And it's two goals in five minutes. Clifton Robinson's nil, East Grinstead two. 
free hit. Rashid will go the aerial route. Oh, it's been missed by uh, Ogilby and a chance hit for Holder and Davissa makes the save. Chapel wins possession back. Oh, a nice turn by Chapel and a chance here for Chapel to run at the East Grinstead defence. Oh, Chapel into the circle. Does she shoot? Does she find the support? She finds the support and Chitterden gets Clifton Robinson's back into it. 25 minutes to go. Clifton Robinson's one, East Grinstead two. Penalty corner goes to the left-hand castle. There's a switch at the top. Shot comes in and up and over the bar for a long corner. Free hit for the hosts. Into the circle it comes. Looking for the touch. Good save by the keeper. And it's cleared by Clifton Robinson. Last chance saloon for the hosts. Fired forward. And they've run out of time. That is the final whistle. Clifton Robinson's one. East Grinstead two the final score. And East Grinstead moved nine points clear of their hosts in the table. Elsewhere, Holcombe and Buckingham's match was called off at half-time due to a frozen pitch with the score level at one all. Bowden Hightown at home to Beeston was also postponed due to a frozen pitch. The one match played on Sunday saw East Grinstead beat the University of Birmingham by three goals to one, thanks to a Sophie Bray hat-trick. Amelia Andrew got the goal for the home side. So, with Surbiton disappointed at dropping their first points of the season, Hampstead and Westminster have cut their lead at the top to six points. East Grinstead are now third, although they have played two more fixtures than those around them. But there's now a big drop to fourth place, with a number of sides looking to claim that fourth place playoff spot. It's equally tight at the bottom, with Bowden still in tenth, just behind the University of Birmingham and Beeston. Our first match in the men's Premier Division is at bottom place Reading for the visit of third placed Old Georgians. The home side had only picked up two points all season and were desperate for points to try to make sure they weren't left completely adrift. Whilst the visitors needed a win to try and keep the pressure on towards the top of the table. Sideline ball. All the way down that sideline it goes. And here is uh, Heaver. Ball comes across. Where's this going to end? It's going to end up with Oxford. Oxford is denied by Pinner. The rebound falls for Lockery. And Stuart Lockery opens the scoring two minutes in. Reading one. Old Georgians nil. Heaver with the ball across. Lockery. Just ran away with him on his first touch. Pinner clears only as far as Lockery. Sanford on the line. Can't keep it out. 1-0 Reading. Jackson. Jackson injects a bit of pace down that sideline. And he's a lovely ball. Finds Richards. Richards now going round the outside. Got players in the middle if he can find them. It's Tyndall. And it's just away from Wyver's goal. Close to an equaliser. Oh, it's a loose ball out the back and a chance here for all Georgians to get an attack going. Ashley Jackson, oh, he's throwing the aerial and underneath it is Tom Carson. And Tom Carson levels things up. Nine minutes in, his 11th goal of the season. Reading one, old Georgians one. Great vision from Jackson. Wyver came to Carson and then he was stranded. Good finish, one all. Penalty corner. Ellison on this left-hand castle. This is Ellison, and that is 2-1. Charlie Ellison restores Reading's advantage. Did this sneak through the legs of Pinner? Yeah, it did. Just couldn't quite get those knees together fast enough. Ellison weighing up his options. Oh, that's a dreadful ball from Ellison, and Carson squares it. An opportunity here for the equaliser. Yes, it's in. Matt Richards... 21 minutes in, levels it up, two all. Dreadful ball, straight to Carson. Clearly didn't see him, Carson unselfishly squares it. I tell you what, Richard still has a lot to do, but he does it comfortably. Here come Redding again. And Heaver to uh, Faulkner. And Heaver with the shots. Oh, it's squeezed into the near post. Max Heaver. His first goal of the season puts Reading back in front, 3-2. Good interchange down this left-hand side. It falls to Heaver and somehow he beats Pinner at his near post. Jackson on the left, Tom Carson on the right. It's Jackson! Wyver diving away to his left-hand side. Palms it away. Yeah, good hand from Wyver. Penalty corner. 
Jackson on the right hand castle, Tyndall on the left for this one. And a little slide to Tyndall and Wyver with another save with the left hand. Let's have a look from behind the goal. Wyver goes to his right hand side and puts it up and over the bar. Carson as Jackson runs away. Carson picks it up and Wyver stretches and reaches with the left foot. What a pick this is from Chris Wyver. That is a great save. Lockery, ball inside, that's a loose ball and Jackson might be able to uh, make Lockery pay because Lockery's out of position. Tom Carson, Tom Carson being hurried by four dark blue shirts but he's through and Tyndall scores and we're level again, 40 minutes in, three all. Well, old Georgians haven't been able to go through Chris Wyver so this time they go round him. Carson with a wonderful bit of skill, he's got four dark blue shirts in front of him here and this wonderful bit of 3D skill eliminates all of them. And then he has the presence of mind to see Tyndall unmarked on that left-hand post. And Tyndall scores. Free hit. Back it comes to Bretherton. Bretherton. Pars it into the circle. Oh, and the touch in front of the defender by Andrew Oxburgh. And Reading are back in front. 4-3. What a game we've got on our hands here at Sonning Lane. Bretherton with the ball over the top. And a lovely little dink from Oxburgh. Jackson on this left-hand castle. Jackson, good save by Wyvert. Shot comes in again. Another save from Wyvert. And Reading get it clear, do they? Let's have a look. Wyvert with the initial save. Rebound falls to Watson. Watson with the shot. And then Messam, just as he's about to put it into the empty net, Wyvert gets it away. Jackson on the top of the circle. Jackson, Wyvert saves. Back to Jackson. And this time Jackson finds the back of the net. Four all, 11 minutes to play. Will we have a winner? Wyver makes the initial save. It falls back to Jackson from that range. Jackson rarely misses. Big aerial ball over the top. Aubrey down this right-hand side. What a run. And this is still going now. Head up. Can he find the pass? Oh, that is a lovely pass to Tom Carson. Carson on the reverse stick. Hits the post. And it's away. Well, oh, Tom Carson's almost giving old Georgians the lead on the reverse stick. Wyver's beaten, but his post comes to his rescue. Final play of the contest. Can old Georgians find a winner? Jackson, good running down. Will it fall outside the dotted line? It does. It's all over. And a thoroughly entertaining game at Sonning Lane has come to an end. Eight goals in it, equally shared. Final score, Reading 4, all Georgians 4, a rare point for the hosts. Surbiton travelled to Holcombe to try and keep their 100% record alive. Surbiton won this match 3-1 earlier on in the season, a result that occurred in the middle of Holcombe's current six-game run without a win.
The University of Exeter welcomed East Grinstead for a match-up between two sides who had lost their previous three fixtures, so this one would undoubtedly be a hard-fought affair. Second place Wimbledon were at home to fourth place Hampton and Westminster. The visitors would be looking for revenge after losing 3 1 to Wimbledon just a few weeks ago. The final match of the weekend was Beeston at home to Brooklyn's Manchester University. After a slow start to the season, Beeston have won their last two matches and sit two points ahead of their visitors. Let's join BTV for the action from this one. Um, you've got to have a lot of confidence in your own speed. Here we go. It's way. And that is in it. That is it. It's Brooklyn's who have the lead at half time. Just and desserts for them, one. really. I mean, keeping the pressure on as they have done. 
simple, straightforward routine, good execution, but that's all it took. The runners came out to block. <laughs> Dixon towards goal, yes. and that's the equalising goal. Adam Dixon's beast and captain equalises. Well, I think he's he's worked out, Adam's worked out how to slot the balls in. So, penalty corner number three in relatively quick succession for the home side. We're at 1-1. One, one. Clock stopped at uh, 4, uh, 45 minutes. This time it's power, and that time it is into the back of the net. Adam Dixon is celebrating, and I'm sure that's his second goal of the game. Terrific effort from <laughs> Beeston to turn it around. Low, hard, straight in, nothing but backboard. So, hat-trick of penalty corners on offer for Adam Dixon. He's going for it, and he has it! it. Well, he's getting very greedy today, Andy, I think. <laughs> who, who cares about that? That was a great finish. Terrific. He was on it like a flash, and it was beyond goalkeeper Robert Turner before he'd even had a chance to move. That's what they're doing, Elliot Barton. Whistle goes in full flow. And that is it. Three points on the board. For Beeston, three goals in the net for Beeston's captain, Adam Dixon, and three converted penalty corners for him. And he's equaled the goal scoring record for Beeston today. So all round, good day for him. Servison's lead at the top is now nine points ahead of Wimbledon and Old Georgians. The top four almost look like they're decided already with Hampton and Westminster in that fourth place spot. Reading and Exeter's points inch them closer to Brooklands with plenty to play for next week. That's it for this week. Join us again next Monday for the final show of 2019.